Horse Sands Fort is one of the largest Royal Commission sea forts in the Solent. Horse Sands is 200 feet across and built between 1865 and 1880s, with two floors and a basement of armour plated all the way round. In the 19th century, the Solent forts were painted black and white as a form of camouflage against the enemy. Its unrestored state remains of this pattern and they are still visible on parts of Horse Sand Fort. The forts were used to defend the Portsmouth Dockyard. Life on the site was grim. Those serving were deliberately chosen for their inability to swim to avoid any attempt of escape. In March 2012, Horse Sands was bought and turned into a museum. The owner of the forts had planned to open Horse Sands for public use in 2016, but as of 2019, Horse Sands, No Man's Land and Spitbank Fort were expected to be put up for auction. And now in 2020, all three forts are officially listed for sale and this is what remains today. Tricky, yeah, 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 it's really choppy, isn't it? You've got to get up on that higher level, which is not, not exactly easy. But yeah. There, right, guys. That was a lot, lot, uh, lot more simple than I thought it would be, which is nice. We've got the whole set. Whoop, whoop. Oh, underneath it's got metal, done. Yeah, no, underneath it's got the metal, so even if the wood breaks, we've got the metal to fall onto. Which is about literally three inches below it. Have you seen how rusty the metal is? Ah! Solid, it's solid, you're alright. Absolutely sure? It's alright. Just take one, just take one, don't drop anything. Have you got it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, so we're just walking across the wall to get into the window. It's actually relatively easy. We came here the other day and uh, it was a non no go because the tide was up. Sorry, the, sorry, the tide was uh, choppy, but today it's all right. So nice, easy access. You right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, just trying to work out where to put my hands. Yeah, Can't actually see the floor. You have to stand up and put your feet on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, tilt. Yeah, not much. <laughs> oh. There we are, we're in. Look, it's going to jump out on me. <laughs> but is it safe? Just climb down here. Yeah, 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 yeah it is. Okay. Whoa, sure. There we go. There we are. We're in, we're in. All right, guys, so. Matt has gone off to do his little bit. We're doing ours. Wow, look at that. Oh, cool. And it's around the other side as well. Got like a middle centerpiece thing, haven't you? And some sort of bridge to connect them both. Should we start this way then? Yeah. yeah. Boiler? Yeah, I think that's a boiler. Whoa. I have no idea. That is pretty crazy, isn't it? Oil drums and stuff. Yeah, that high vis looks new as well. No, it doesn't. No, it's actually no, it doesn't. It's a little bit battered. They've clearly been on site doing something at some point. Yeah, they? yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh wow, look at that fireplace. Oh, let me just focus. Look at that. Wow. Original piece. And then above it, you've got the um. The vent. The vent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really cool. Look, I like the doorway. Tried to paint the ceiling white as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the doorway is pretty cool. Yeah, it's really, really unique, isn't it? I like that. Yeah, wow. Cool so I wonder what the actual purpose was for this particular building. Because obviously all forts, I know they obviously all have a purpose, but it'd be interesting to know, wouldn't it? There we are, a little sign. Yeah, it feels like you're going to an abandoned town, not not a fort. Gosh, a big, big bird. There's, wow, there's loads of bones. Bones everywhere, yeah. It's a set of stairs there, so I'm assuming that's going to take us to the upper level, so I'll do that a little bit later. Do the ground floor first. There's a lot of bones on the floor, literally everywhere. There's some ladders here as well that don't look particularly old and a bit of wood 
There's all the old doors in the cupboard. Is there another one? I love fireplaces. Absolutely love them. Whoa. Now it sits on now the back that. of the other one with a similar vent on the other side. That's beautiful. With the same sort of door. Yeah. That's really special. Oh, there's a big old dark basement. So we should probably do that after the ground floor. Start going up and down after we've done this bit of the Ooh. ring. Yeah, that looks quite creepy, doesn't it? Oh, what, this here? Yeah. I think you might, yeah, you're right. I'm yeah, sure yeah. Maybe, I don't know actually where they connect. Yeah. But you are right, there are definitely yeah. stairs. You can see, obviously, it's the same style as when we walked up and obviously the bracket, you can see. Yeah. Oh, wow, guys, look. Gosh. It's like an extra little castle bit at the top. Oh, wow. If you stand back and look up in the centre, look, there's like an extra, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. build. All up there at the top, yeah. Wow. There is on as well. It's got a big arsy J stuff. Why would you abandon this? I'm going to catch that view quickly because I bet it is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> yeah, as I thought. Absolutely stunning. And luckily, the, uh, the sea is calm at the moment and that's how we want it to remain because if it gets any worse for any reason we'll have to go straight back this is so so awesome what's that a pit oh wow i think that staircase would link then yeah on the inside yeah yeah because i don't think they're going to take much weight they do i'll be surprised What does that say on that door? Something room. Dressing room. Oh, okay. Oh, there's Matt. Secret boat. Hiya. That looks like a reverse bear trap from a far away. I don't know if you guys have watched Saw, but um, <laughs> from far away. Yeah, this little door was quite interesting. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Old. Yeah, compared to the other one. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm very curious. Oh, they're basins, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that box is full of seagulls, don't look. Oh, poor things. It's actually quite uncomfortable because all the crunching underneath my feet, these guys are probably thinking of rocks, but it's actually bones. But all the crunching is bones, so it's, oh, you can't stand anywhere. And that's a, that's a spring for a mattress, isn't it? There's so many bits to walk off to though, like so many avenues. Well, that was where we started, guys. So should we just head down there? Did you want to have a look down those wooden bits or where would you like to go next? It's going to be smaller at the core though, obviously, because of um, it works its way out in size. Oh, what's this, guys? What's that? Is it... It's got glass in it. Is it one of those fire hoses you smash the glass? Yeah. This, this was definitely a shower room or a bathroom. Oh, well, there we are, literally there we are. So you've got the shower tray, shower, and all your cubicles. Wow, and this was more than likely a urinal. Yeah. You can probably... Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a urinal. So maybe the basins came out here then, Jen, all the ones that you yeah. found. Yeah, they probably did. Yeah. Yeah. That's a recent plug. And that as well. Um, yeah, recent to a, to a degree. To a degree, yeah. Yeah, Being yeah no, definitely. Base, I wonder what that is above us. I absolutely have no idea. No. Yeah, and it's got a hole on the, a big hole on the side, like almost like a boiler would have sat in it or something. To know. Yeah, that is actually. Yes, yeah, they've gone to some extent to uh, to brick that. I wonder why. Oh, look, another vent, really, really rusted. That's really aged. Wow. Yeah, more rusted That was our entry. Oh yeah, little workman's truck. Yep, yeah, that was the entry.
Oh, a cloak room maybe? Yeah, some sort of cloak room, dressing room, something on those lines. Wow. Yeah, look how old this light switch is. So the one that Aisha found is obviously more modern. This is what he was on about, meaning like this sort of stuff is more typical. Another one of those boxy things. What does it say? Cartridge hoist. No, it's not gonna open, it's locked. It's, not, it's a shutter. Yeah. It's a big... The pole goes up and the pole goes down, so... Oh, it's a lift. Hell lift. Yeah, they must have pulled Ooh. stuff up and down. Yeah, yeah, that's a lift. Yeah. yeah it's, not, it's not a person, then. Oh, that's a bit of a drop, wow. Yeah, you wouldn't want to drop your phone down there. <laughs> What does that say? I can't make it. It's a word, bubble. Yeah, again, a really, really old um, piece of equipment. Oh, it's actually labelled, Jen, this door. Bedding. So this was bedding for all this lot. So instead of it's just a storage cupboard. Uh, something office. What room was it? ER office. ER. Okay, that's quite that's quite handy actually. They're all labelled. Okay, so that was an office, not a cloakroom. It would have. It does look like one though. Do you know what I mean? Oh, we have a bit of natural daylight on the left. Oh, okay. Wow. Look at these Whoa. I think that's what they are. Anyway, I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all the old joints as well. All the old um, the chest, the piping. They are very cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that pickaxe. That is enormous. Oh, that's so nice. I'd love to wake up to this every morning. Look at that. Look at all the rust on the ceiling. Okay, this looks new. A great deal of this. Big letters as well. Look here, these big templates. Tea. Maybe that's for spraying the word fort. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think there is. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. So you've got a pile, and over here, there's an entire stack of brand new tiles. Loads of them. A ton of wires as well. Yeah. Yeah, they've definitely got plans for this place. Definitely. Fire exit door. Maybe someone has brought it now. Yeah, it'd be nice to see it done up though, wouldn't it? Like, restored back to something that the public could possibly use, you know? Oh, well, there we are, another really old switch. Funky. Sergeant's mess. Oh, wow. All these doors are labelled. This is fantastic. So, you actually know what you're walking into? Oh. I think you might be right, actually. I'm assuming you got a little, like, um, maybe like a little indoor fire pit. I don't know. This is really confusing. <laughs> Even though it's neighboured. Oh, look, an old basin. This is a big room. B eight. Oh, we've got a grill in it. Look at that. Yeah, again, not the oldest we've seen. Yeah, it's one of those flat surface grills, isn't it? They are absolutely brilliant, those things. You can cook everything on them. I absolutely love them. Got some old doors. Ah, oh, look at the original frame. Yeah, somebody is definitely working in here because this is getting quite modern now, really. Like these crates and that, they weren't around back in the day. And we've had somebody up here because these cigarette packets only changed about, I believe it was about a year or two ago. So yeah, they've been left up here and they're definitely new. Oh, wow, there's a little rusty ladder there. And it leads out to almost a bit of a balcony, but I will not be stepping on it because you can see the one above has completely collapsed and it's rusted. And I think that is very much ready to go. And it's these tracks again, they follow, uh, follow around. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Got all the old pipes. Look at that, it just goes forever. Can you see some light? 
Oh, I can see light at the end of the tunnel. Quite literally see light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> oh, I just got a spider in my eye. Oh, sorry, I just ruined your home wherever you've just gone. Got a table here. Very, very decayed chair, incredibly rusted. See, some of the windows have been patched with this really um, shoddy kind of uh, chicken wire, I call it. Um, and I don't know why, because they've only picked particular ones. Like for example, this, it's got a mesh over it. As you can see, it's not done a great deal. Immediately been ripped. I don't think it's by people because they would never get up that side. The side we came in is probably your only way in. And then an incredibly old, what is this? Machine number, serial number, no, I'm looking for what it is. Air blast. Air blast? Okay, I'm not sure what an air blast means. That is a pressure gauge though. There we are, pressure gauge. I wonder what that is for. Look, it's pumping up something. I don't know, but that is cool. That's very old. All right, so I'm back to the room with the ladder in it. And I've just found this little cupboard. It's quite interesting. Probably held wires and bits and pieces. And I think I might go upstairs. They feel pretty sturdy. No, no, they're not actually. That went to give way on me then. Oh, look, a little old light fixture into one of those boxes again. I would like to know what they're for. Oh, look up there. Whoa, I am definitely getting up there. Oh, Matt's already up there. Look at him go. There we are, so there's Matt heading up to the, it's like the little house in the middle of the fort. I don't really know how else to describe it, but we will be over there very soon with him. I'm gonna to continue to venture. Um, Jen, just be careful of this floor when you come up, all right? It's a little bit temperamental. It's fine, but I don't know how much it will take, all right? Got a nice, nice table sat there. There we are. Wow. That is cool. And it kind of links to like the rest of the top, really. So I need to somehow get up there to join Matt. Oh, hammock. Ah, okay, that's cool. So bed area. And there's that lift again that we were talking about downstairs. Kind of all links. Tiny little cupboard. And a massive, um, that's still fresh. Look, there's fresh water dripping out of that. But in the side of all of these, so you've got like these corridors like that, but you've also, you go in there and there's another set of corridors and another set. So it is a little bit of a pickle to get around. Just trying to work out, you don't want to miss anything, you know, because it's one of these things you won't ever get to experience again. And uh, this is why it's been probably one of the best days of our lives, because we know it's probably never going to happen again. And not many people have done all four forts and we've now done it. Look at that. All original. All original. How amazing. Just wondering how uh, how Matt got up to that bridge. There's got to be some stairs, isn't there? It's got to be somewhere. I'm having a walk around. I'm sure we'll find them, one way or another. Another empty room. You know, what I'm like, I'm not going to waste time in the empty rooms. I'm just going to keep moving until I find something of interest. Some more hammocks would have been sat there. Aha! Are we onto something? Are we onto something? No, no, still not the stairs. But I believe this would have been possibly a bathroom because of the tiles, yet again, a basin. Maybe a toilet could have been sat there or there, or was it a furnace? It's quite, quite complex really to work out. It's got a lot of character, even though it's, a, it's that bit emptier, it's actually very exciting also to walk around because you're not really sure what you're gonna find. And see, like compared to the first one you uh, would have watched by now, the hotel, it's fully kitted, so there's always stuff to look at, so you're not as sharp with your eyes. But this kind of thing, you have to be that more sort of on the ball to spot these things. For example, a ton of oil drums? I would have assumed, but I don't know. That's something I'm gonna have to uh, have in the comments. And there's a little room there, what's in there? Oh, there's a bath over there. Let's cut round, we'll go around and have a little look. Aha, that's how he's done it. Knowing Matt, he would have definitely uh, clambered up there. 
So I will do that, but I'm not gonna do it alone. Just in case I fall, it's always better to have your team or even at least one of them around you. So if you do fall, at least they can uh, get others. Yeah, he would have gone up there and then, no, Matt. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Two baths. It's actually got stuff growing in it now. It's actually got life in it. How cool is that? Another control board. What we got? Cartilage lift passage. EMP. Ooh. Okay, what way? Point me. Right, sorry guys, I had to make a quick flick away. Somebody is buggering around near our boat and they're hovering. So we just want to make sure that they're not either stealing or they're not the sea police or something. Because obviously you've got to remember it is an abandoned fort. We're not really supposed to be here, safety wise. Um, but obviously we're experienced explorers, but we wouldn't just do this for a laugh. We're doing it because obviously we're trying to document. I can hear him, but I can't see him. There you are. We need to check the boat. Is there any? He's not buggering around on our boat, no? All right, guys, I just thought we'd have a little look at the ladders, but if you watch, there is absolutely no way in God's name you catch me going up that set. So if I find another one, I will definitely give it a whirl. Right, so just outside the shell store, there is a doorway here, and I think that might link us up to that island. Maybe. Well, we don't know if we until we try it. Have a browse. Oh, it's never that easy, is it? Oh, and it literally just takes me to the second room. Great. Right, we found a stable set. So this will be the ones. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just crawling at this rate because it's all the bloody dust is going in my eyes. Jen, when you climb it, don't look up. Yeah, keep looking down. Yeah. Enough, just keep coming up. Got an eye for the rust. Oh, really rusty eyes. <laughs> some greenery would you look at that there we are cool yay at the top we got oh i keep standing on bones it's horrible you got a little electrics cupboard got all your switches there we are and look at the island look at that that's amazing i love that it's like a really odd house just placed smack bang in the middle. And then obviously that's the drop. But there we are, there's a bridge straight across to it. Very nice. And then there's Matt up there, just in the distance. Oh, big hole there for. Really? Oh wow, it's a big bit of kit then. Look at that. Big bit of kit. There's our uh, our previous forts there, and two of them are just over there in the distance. Right, I've got like a massive crane. There's the booth where they're to sit. Obviously, twist it. Uh, oh, I better not stand on that. But obviously, there's over the side of the sea. There's another little building here. So you've got oh. GBW22 Power Engineering. I wonder what that was for. I don't know, but this looks actually not that dated. Doesn't look as old as I was expecting it to be in here. There we are. Got a shell drum over there as well. Lots of other little outbuilds, but I might just jump straight into the middle. I'm assuming this bridge is the safe one. really really big spiral staircase takes you all the way down I'll check that out in a minute I wonder how far we can climb he said the first set of dodgy so is this the first set 
yeah that is the first set they're a bit dodgy i'm sure there's another way around there always is another little room not a great deal in here to be fair but right i'm gonna have to put you guys down once i get up there Fortunately, you guys i jumped at that too soon um i didn't realize it was that drastically uh moving so i tried to get some stability on it and unfortunately i sort of ended up tumbling down so i don't think i can get up there all right guys so we just had a quick a flick run just on the outskirts and obviously in there where we missed but there's not really much more to film um so what i'm gonna do is gonna save my phone battery because i've literally got about 10 percent i'll flick you to the gopro and i will see you once we're uh, leaving the building all right and we're back at our entry or shall i say exit now oh hello that's a, that's a, not the most stable oh look at that guys we have officially explored all four forts in portsmouth now i know people that have done one or two but i don't know anywhere that has actually done all four so if you do let me know but, um as matt was saying we own portsmouth we've done it We've got the we keys. are the fort kings and queens. We've got the keys. <laughs> we have done it. Thanks to this amazing man. We could not have done it without him. He is a star. Absolute star. And there's the little boat. Right, that's the last part of the journey. Just getting down this. So hopefully it'll be all right, because uh, this is the hard part now, guys. Just making sure we get on that boat safely. Where did we come in? Oh, that's quite confusing. Yeah, it's the handles you want to worry about. They give way quite quickly. Um, was it that low earlier? Significantly, look, that is a hell of a drop. Matt, that's huge. There are some steps. I don't know if that panel's safe enough to walk over, but that's the only uh, solution I've got right now. Oh, no. You could just jump that and then walk to that edge panel and just somehow be able to get from there. At least you can sit and drop in rather than jump because the tide has gone out a lot. The boat's behind you now, that's it. Come on, Kayleigh. Go on, girl. Just rest on the side, that's it. Go on, girl. Well done, Kayleigh. Colson explores, look at that. You're a legend! Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Kaylee. Well done, love. I'll save ya. Yeah. Well done, Kaylee. Amazing. Brilliant stuff. Well done, Matt. All right, guys, so it's been a very long day. We've got our burgers cooking. We've got all of our bits and pieces. We've got birthday cake under there to celebrate my 1K. We've got some sausages. And we also have the sauce that rocks very kindly gave me a bottle of his world famous <laughs> um, hot sauce. We're gonna try this on the barbie. I bet it's absolutely delicious. I've tried a few before and they are lush. And we've got Hi. Chef Jenny Evie. Hiya. Hi. So yeah. And I think after this, it's going to be so late, I'm going to call it a night and hand you guys to the outro. Hi.